Chapter 1 My phone can automatically find treasure. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Zhonghai City, in an old and broken dot down rental house near Zhonghai University. Yi Feng had just signed the contract and sent the landlord off when a notification sound came in his mind. Congratulations, host. You are now bound to the treasure hunting system. At the same time, the navigation app icon in Yi Feng's phone lit up with a blinding white light, and then returned to normal. What was going on? Yi Feng was a little dazed. He was a fan of novels, and he often read online novels. Naturally, he knew that the system was the standard of the main character. He didn't reject the system. Instead, he looked forward to it, but it felt a little unreal. Unexpectedly, just as he was in a daze, the system notification sounded again. 92 kilograms of stolen money was detected. The treasure hunting system is guiding you. Walking navigation begins. Please head forward to the left from your current position and reach the destination after 6 meters. 6 meters to the left. Wasn't that his own bedroom? Yi Feng's expression was strange. Could the system have made a mistake? He had seen the bedroom before. There was nothing but a bed inside, so where was the treasure? However, when he thought about the 92 kilograms of stolen money mentioned by the system. It was in the bedroom anyway, so there was no loss in taking a look. Thus, Yi Feng walked toward the bedroom. On the way, he was also thinking about the information given by the system. Since it was stolen money, and so heavy, it could only be cash. Generally speaking, cash that would be hidden should be red notes. A red note weighed 1.15 grams, so if it was 92 kilograms. Yi Feng's brain worked quickly, he quickly calculated it. 92 kilograms of red notes were equivalent to 8 million in cash. It was a whole 8 million. When he got this result, Yi Feng also came to the door of the bedroom. He started to look around the bedroom. From his position, he could clearly see that there was only one bed in the entire bedroom, and there was nothing under the bed. Since that was the case, the stolen money could only be hidden in the wall or under the floor. Thinking of this, Yi Feng quickly walked to a wall and knocked on it. Suddenly, a muffled sound came from the wall. It was solid. There was no money here. Shaking his head, Yi Feng knocked on another spot, but it was still solid. It seemed that there was none in this wall. Then, he squatted down and knocked on a tile. He had thought that if the floor was solid, he would knock on the other three walls, but he did not expect. Bang, bang, bang. This sound. It was empty. F asterisk CK. The floor was really empty. Yi Feng was extremely excited, he stretched out his hand and knocked on another piece of the floor. Bang, bang, bang. Similarly, it was empty. Then, he knocked on another piece. Bang, bang, bang. It was still empty. After a while, Yi Feng knocked on all the floor tiles, including the ones under the bed. They were all empty. Now, he had no doubt about the system's treasure dot hunting ability. The only headache was how to withdraw the cash inside. L.C. directly smash it open. No, what if the soundproofing wasn't good, and his neighbors complained that he was disturbing the people? And if the floor was damaged, he would not be able to answer to the landlord. Could it be that he could only guard this wealth? It was wrong. Yi Feng suddenly remembered that there was a loose tile under the bed. Perhaps he could break through from there. I'll try it first. If it doesn't work, I'll just smash it. If the landlord asks. We'll talk about it when the time comes. After moving the bed away, Yi Feng squatted down and used his knife to pry open the edge of the floor tile. After a while, one side of the floor tile was clearly higher than the ground. Yi Feng put down the knife. He grabbed the other side and pulled it. He did not use much strength to pull out the entire floor tile. It actually worked. Yi Feng was overjoyed, 
he carefully placed the floor tile to one side and looked forward. There was a layer of black plastic under the floor tiles. Without any hesitation, Yi Feng stretched out his hand and tore the plastic. Soon, the thing covered by the plastic sheet was exposed. It was money. And they were all red notes. They were neatly laid out on the ground. Looking at the stacks of cash, Yi Feng was extremely excited, but he quickly regained his senses. This was just the beginning. Suppressing the excitement in his heart, Yi Feng continued to remove the floor tiles. The floor tiles were stuck to the cement. Fortunately, the cement layer was not thick, so the floor could be pulled out with a little force. One, two. Soon, the floor of the entire bedroom was removed and placed in the living room. Then, he returned to his bedroom and started to drag the black plastic sheet. The moment the black plastic sheet was completely removed, the ground was revealed to be red. The entire floor of the bedroom was covered with red notes. The bedroom wasn't big, only about 10 square meters. Stacks of red notes, about 2 to 3 centimeters thick, were placed next to each other. That scene was simply too spectacular. This was 8 million. Yi Feng looked at the money in front of him, his heart was beating fast. He had never seen so much money before. Even if he knew that there were 8 million yuan in cash hidden here, it was just a number, after all. The impact was far less intense than seeing it with his own eyes. Furthermore, all this money was his. At this moment, he only had one thought in his mind. He struck it rich. He was rich. Chapter 2 The system is giving me too much for completing the navigation. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. A few minutes later, Yi Feng calmed down a little, he looked at the red notes on the ground and started to think about where the money came from. He had heard the landlord mention that the previous tenant of this house was a fugitive. The fugitive was shot dead while escaping, and it was said that the whereabouts of the stolen money were unknown. This matter had caused quite a stir here. This was also the reason why he was able to rent this house at an extremely low price. In that case, the money was likely to be the stolen money. The fugitive was dead. The money had no owner. Then it didn't seem like there was any problem with him accepting it. However, how should he deal with the money? Continue to leave it here. Definitely not. The landlord might come over at any time, and it would be terrible if he was discovered. Bank. No. He was a poor student from an average family. If he suddenly had such a large sum of money in his hands, anyone would suspect that the money had come from an improper source and might even call the police. Then what should he do? Rent a new house. Yi Feng nodded. This was not a problem, but the house was not his, he felt unsafe. Just as he was thinking, a system notification suddenly sounded in his mind. Congratulations, host. For completing the treasure hunting navigation, you are rewarded with a Zhongtian Lake, View Villa. The reward has been issued. Host, please check and receive it. At the same time, a craft paper bag appeared on the table in the living room. There's a house already. Yi Feng had an excited expression, he quickly walked toward the table. He picked up the paper bag and opened it. There were only two things inside. The title deed of the Zhongtian Lake View Villa and the Villa Key. Zhongtian Lake View Villa, he had heard of it before. It was said that it was the most high. End villa area in the entire Zhonghai city. It shouldn't be cheap. Even so, when he saw the price on the contract was 95 million, he couldn't help but shake his hands. The reward. It was too awesome. He was now a person with assets of over a hundred million. Cool. After that, Yi Feng put the deed and key back into the paper bag and prepared to lay the floor, then go out to get a car and secretly transfer the 8 million yuan to his villa. As soon as he finished, a system notification rang in his mind. A new opportunity has been discovered. In half an hour, a fuel tank truck on Zhongshan Road will explode, 
and Xia Chiu will die in the explosion. Apart from treasure hunting, the system could also give out opportunities. Yi Feng was slightly surprised. However, Xia Chiu. Could it be the Xia Chiu that he knew? Xia Chiu was one of Dragon Kingdom's top singers. She had a sweet voice, a pure appearance, and was clean. She was one of the most popular stars in Dragon Kingdom. Yi Feng also liked her very much. Could it be that she was the one who was about to be in trouble? Suddenly, Yi Feng thought of the report he had read before, it said that Xia Chiu would hold a concert in Zhonghai City in a few days. It was really her. He had to save her. Even if the other party was not a female star, now that Yi Feng knew about this, he could not just leave her in the lurch. After all, the system had given him a lot of rewards for completing the navigation. According to the system's generosity, the rewards this time would definitely be valuable. Yi Feng was filled with anticipation. Then, he picked up the craft paper bag on the table, locked the door, and ran downstairs. Zhongshan Road wasn't too far from his rental house. If he took a taxi, he would be able to get there in about 10 minutes. But, this was an old and dilapidated neighborhood, and it was almost impossible to get a taxi. Beto. M, forget it, I'll just ride my bike over. Yi Feng glanced at a public bike, and immediately after, a system notification sounded in his mind. The treasure hunting system is about to guide you. Route planning has been activated for you. Please set off along the current road and ride forward for 500 meters. You will pass by Yongkong Road, Xinghua Highway. The whole journey is 8.3 kilometers, and the estimated time is 25 minutes. Riding a bicycle actually took so long. Yi Feng looked at his phone, there were only 28 minutes left until the incident. Time was of the essence. Yi Feng got on the bicycle, his legs moving very fast. The temperature in Zhonghai was still very high in October. Although it was only 9 in the morning, the sun was already scorching, and there was almost no one on the road. Occasionally, he would meet one or two, but they were all holding parasols. They looked at Yi Feng, who was sweating profusely on the bicycle, and were all confused. Yi Feng did not have the time to care about their gazes. He only wanted to rush to Zhongshan Road to save the person. Xia Chiu was very influential in the music industry. She came to Zhonghai City to hold a concert and received strong support from the officials. Along the way, Yi Feng found many banners and posters promoting Xia Chiu's concert. On the poster, Xia Chiu was wearing a long red dress, her black hair flying in the wind, and she was extremely beautiful. As expected of the nation's goddess. He was excited just thinking about how he would be able to see her in person soon. He remembered that his roommate was also a fan of Xia Chiu. Well, he would ask for an autograph from Xia Chiu so that he could go back and let that guy covet. While his thoughts ran wild, he rode hard. Twenty-four minutes later, Yi Feng arrived at Zhongshan Road. The treasure hunting system will continue to guide you. Please follow the current path and reach the destination after 100 meters. 100 meters ahead. Yi Feng wiped the sweat from his forehead and looked up. There was a traffic light there. Under the traffic light was a fuel tank car, and behind it was a Mercedes, Benz RV. Chapter 3 Oscar owes me an Oscar you are listening at novel full dot audio. Yi Feng did not need to think to know that the Mercedes, Benz RV behind him was his target. He immediately started riding forward. As soon as he arrived next to the Mercedes, Ben's RV, the green light turned on. The car continued moving forward. The Mercedes, Ben's RV's driver was also about to start the car when he suddenly saw a blue bicycle rushing over. What was going on? Scamming. While the driver was still in a daze, the bicycle suddenly tilted toward the car. Next, Yi Feng crashed into the car's bumper. Did he really encounter a scammer? The driver's eyes twitched. He had wanted to call the police directly, but thinking of the identity of the person in the car, 
he decided to get out of the car first and negotiate with the other party. If the money they asked for was not much, then he would just treat it as spending money to avoid trouble. BDNV when he got off the car, Yi Fong also stood up from the ground. When he saw the chauffeur walking over, he hurriedly said with a panicked expression, Uncle, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just learned how to ride a bike not long ago. I didn't mean to hit your car. So he wasn't a scammer. The driver heaved a sigh of relief and was about to tell Yi Fong to leave. Yi Fong suddenly exclaimed. Ah. It's you. You're Xia Xia's driver. Xia Xia was the nickname that the fans used for Xia Chiu. When he said this, he deliberately acted very exaggeratedly, just like a brainless fan of Xia Chiu. Seeing this, the driver had a headache. He didn't usually show his face in public, so how did this kid recognize him? Just as he was about to explain that he was not Xia Chiu's driver, the door opened. A woman in her late twenties with a face score of 80 walked down the stairs. She was Xia Chiu's manager. Her surname was Wang and people called her Sister Wang. Sister Wang walked to the driver and asked, what's going on? She only saw someone hit the car and thought it was an accident, so she quickly came down to check. Sister Wang, it's like this. The driver quickly explained the situation to Sister Wang. Sister Wang couldn't help but frown when she heard that. It was too much of a coincidence that he had accidentally hit the car and recognized Xia Chiu's driver. She couldn't help but suspect that this young man who didn't even look 20 years old was here for Xia Chiu. Could he be paparazzi? Was he waiting for them here? No, today's schedule was not made public, so he couldn't have known that they would pass through this road. Moreover, she had not seen this young man on the road before. What was going on? Sister Wang couldn't understand, so she just said, What is your purpose? Purpose. Yi Fong was stunned. He thought he had exposed himself. However, when he saw Sister Wang's uncertain look, he knew that she was just trying to get information out of him. He quickly shook his head. Sister, I don't have any ulterior motives. If you really want to know, can you let me see Xia Xia? Are you really Xia Xia's fan? Sister Wang was still suspicious of Yi Feng's identity. Yi Feng looked at Sister Wang innocently, that's right. Xia Xia is my goddess. I really like her. Can you let me see her? No. Sister Wang shook her head. No matter how harmless Yi Feng looked, to be safe, she would not let strangers get close to Xia Chiu. Since the driver didn't hit anyone, she didn't want to stay here and waste time, so she immediately wanted to find a reason to send Yi Feng away. Suddenly, a light purple figure came out of the car. It was Xia Chiu. Her looks were at least 93 points, and her figure was at least 93 points. Her face was pure, but her figure was quite mature. She was even more attractive than in the photos and videos. Sister Wang noticed that she had gotten out of the car and her expression changed. Xia Xia, why did you come down personally? I'm almost done here. You can continue to rest. As she spoke, Sister Wang stared at Yi Feng with a guarded expression. Yi Feng was speechless. Did he really look like a bad person? Hearing this, Xia Chiu only smiled faintly. Sister Wang, I've heard everything you said just now. After she finished speaking, she looked at Yi Feng, her beautiful eyes were filled with curiosity. When Sister Wang saw this, she didn't say anything more. She just moved closer to Xia Chiu. In case something happened, she could protect Xia Chiu in time. Did you recognize my car a long time ago? so you deliberately came to stop me. Xia Chiu asked after a few seconds. Her voice was very calm, and she was not angry because of this. Instead, there was a trace of concern. Seeing that Xia Chiu did not put on any airs, Yi Feng's impression of her improved. He knew that his poor acting skills would not be able to fool Xia Chiu, so he admitted it openly. I didn't expect you to see through me, Xia Xia. 
I thought the license plate looked familiar before, but I wasn't sure it was you. But when I saw the driver, I was sure. Sia Sia, I really like you a lot. Can I have your autograph? Of course you can. Xia Chiu smiled. He then took out a pen and paper. After she finished writing, she passed the paper to Yi Feng and said in a child.teaching tone, but little brother, don't do this again in the future. It's very dangerous, do you understand? Yi Feng quickly nodded. After he put away the signature, he glanced at the fuel truck. The tank truck had only driven about 50 to 60 meters away, so it was still very dangerous. Thus, he pestered Xia Chiu and chatted with her. Chapter 4 The big star looked sideways, slipped away. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. As they chatted, Yi Feng and Xia Chiu talked about the concert that would be held two days later. It's a pity that I didn't get a ticket, Yi Feng said with a regretful expression. Otherwise, I would be able to go to your concert live. Xia Chiu smiled and consoled him gently, it's fine. You can listen to it online. That's true, but it's different in real life and online. Xia Xia, will you come to Zhonghai for concerts in the future? I can't be sure. If there's a chance, I'll come. Oh, right. Xia Chiu smiled and asked, looking at you, you should still be a student, right? Binov Kam, yes. Yi Feng nodded. I'm a freshman this year. I see. Xia Chiu nodded and hesitated. Looking at Yi Feng's clothes, he should be from an ordinary family. The cheapest ticket for her concert cost more than 500 yuan, so she didn't want Yi Feng to fight for the ticket. It was not that she looked down on Yi Feng, she just felt that it was not worth it. It was not worth it to save and scrimp for so long just to watch a concert. She would also often say these words to her students and fans. However, she was not familiar with Yi Feng and did not understand his character. She was afraid that she would hurt his self-esteem if she said too much, so she decided not to say anything. From Xia Chiu's expression, Yi Feng already understood what she wanted to say. Although he didn't really want to go to the concert, Seeing that Xia Chiu was so considerate of her fans, he suddenly had a better impression of her. He looked at the tank truck again. He had only driven for about a hundred meters. It was too slow. It seemed like they had to talk about something else. Xia Chiu saw that Yi Feng would glance in front from time to time and was a little confused. Was he waiting for something? Just as she was about to ask, Yi Feng spoke first, Xia Xia. Can I take a picture with you? Xia Xia, we've wasted too much time. We should go. Before Xia Chiu could speak, Sister Wang spoke first. She felt that if she did not remind him, Yi Feng would continue to pester Xia Chiu. They still had to attend a charity auction later, so they couldn't stay here any longer. Xia Chiu also knew that time was tight. But when she saw Yi Feng's expectant eyes, she was too embarrassed to reject him. Sister Wang, let's take a photo together. It won't take long. After signaling for Sister Wang to wait, she nodded at Yi Feng. Seeing this, Yi Feng's impression of Xia Chiu became better. She was such a pure, beautiful, and kind girl. Even without the system's reward, he would not hesitate to save her. Then, he took out his phone and started taking photos with Xia Chiu. While taking photos, he observed the tank truck. After taking more than a dozen photos, the tank truck drove out of the safe area. Yi Feng heaved a sigh of relief. Feeling Sister Wang's unkind gaze, he quickly put away his phone and said to Xia Chiu, Xia Xia, I'm so sorry for taking up so much of your time. It doesn't matter. Xia Chiu shook her head. Then, she got into the car. Suddenly, the sound of an emergency brake came from the front. Then, there was a loud bang as the tank truck hit the roadside guardrail. Boom! A deafening sound was heard. The tank car exploded. In an instant, the flames soared up to the sky, reaching more than 10 meters high. 
the rolling black smoke carried flames and quickly spread to the surroundings. In the blink of an eye, hundreds of square meters of land around them were raised to the ground. Xia Chiu and the other two paled at the sight. After a long while, the few of them seemed to react. When they came back to their senses, Sister Wang and the driver's gaze toward Yi Feng had changed. Although it was a little annoying that Yi Feng had delayed their time, if Yi Feng had not stopped them just now, with the distance between their car and the fuel tank truck, they would have been. Xia Chiu's face was also filled with shock and fear. After signaling Sister Wang to call the police and ambulance, she looked at Yi Feng with a complicated look. She had already noticed that Yi Feng was looking forward. At that time, she thought that Yi Feng was waiting for someone, but now that she thought about it, he was most likely observing the fuel truck. But now, she was a little suspicious. Did Yi Feng already know that the fuel truck would be in trouble? Did he deliberately chat with her, take a photo with her, and delay the time? Yi Feng also noticed her little movement, but he still looked at the burning fuel truck in front of him in horror, as if he was scared silly. Seeing this, Xia Chiu could not help but be suspicious. Could it be that she was thinking too much? Could it really be a coincidence? Then, how could she explain his behavior of observing the tank truck earlier? Just as she was thinking, Sister Wang's voice was heard. Xia Xia, I hope you're not too scared. Xia Chiu shook her head. She then smiled at Yi Feng, by the way, I still don't know how to address you. Yi Feng told Xia Chiu his information and also gave her his contact information. Xia Chiu took note of it and chuckled. Yi Feng, no matter what, you saved my life. I've been busy for the past two days, I'll treat you to a meal when I'm free. All right. Yi Feng nodded and pretended to look at the time, then quickly said, Oh no, class is about to start. Xia Xia, I'm going to leave now. I'll wait for you to treat me to a meal. After that, he rode the shared bicycle again and left quickly. Almost at the same time he left the scene, a system notification sounded in his mind. Congratulations to the host for completing the destiny navigation. The reward is 100 million in cash. The reward has been issued. Chapter 5 The owner of the villa, the undercurrent of the Zhongtian Lake, view villa complex you are listening at novel full dot audio. F asterisk CK. 100 million in cash. Awesome. Yi Feng was overjoyed, this was worth it. The screen of his phone lit up, and he received a notification that his bank balance had changed to 100 million 107.63 for the first time, Yi Feng experienced what it meant to be on his feet. He unconsciously hummed a little tune as he turned on the navigation and headed straight to the Zhongtian Lake, View Villa area. Behind them, Xia Chiu looked at Yi Feng's back with curiosity in her eyes. It was not until Yi Feng's figure was completely gone that she retracted her gaze and turned to her manager. Sister Wang, is my schedule full for the next two days? Sister Wang immediately opened her memo and quickly replied, It's all full. Also, you've turned down a few of Zhonghai's bosses and second-generation heirs for dinner, and some of them have been quite critical about it. Should we? Xia Chiu reached out and interrupted her. Don't worry about them. Also, help me cancel the charity dinner tonight. Sister Wang was taken aback. Xia Xia, this is a great opportunity to show your face. It'll be very helpful in building your public image. Reject it. As Xia Chiu spoke, she looked at the direction where Yi Feng disappeared. Our interesting savior is still waiting for me to treat him. As she spoke, she ignored Wang Jie's confused look. A hint of curiosity and slyness flashed in her eyes. She chuckled and got into the car. Zhongtian Lake View Villa. The Real Estate Management Office. It was almost noon, and the real estate management staff were almost done with their work. Everyone looked relaxed. Suddenly, the door was pushed open. A woman walked in from outside the door. 
the woman looked to be around 25 or 26 years old. Her looks were around 90 points, and her figure was also above 93 points. Her pair of sinful eyes were very terrifying. She was wearing a suit and her hair was tied up. When she walked, she had a special effect, looking very capable and experienced. Her name was Lin Junjun and she was the CEO of Zhongtian Real Estate Company. She was the standard royal sister. Upon seeing her, everyone in the real estate department of the Zhongtian Lake, View Villa Complex quickly greeted her. President Lin. Good day, President Lin. Dot. At this moment, the sloppiness in their bodies had disappeared. Everyone in the real estate department knew that Lin Junjun was known for her swift and decisive actions, so they didn't want to be taught a lesson by her. However, Lin Junjun seemed to have something urgent to attend to today. She merely nodded at everyone before hurrying into the office. She went to her office and turned on her computer. After a few operations, a piece of information appeared on her computer screen. If he phone was here, he would realize that the photo on the document was his. About an hour ago, Lin Junjun suddenly received a phone call that someone had purchased Zhongtian Lake, View Villa No. 1 in full, so she rushed over to the real estate department to check the customer's information. But the information given in the information. Yi Feng, a first-year student at Zhonghai University, ordinary family background. If she hadn't personally retrieved this information from the inside, she would have thought that someone was deliberately joking with her. Could an ordinary first-year university student afford a villa worth nearly 100 million yuan? However, internal information could not be faked. That meant that Yi Feng had intentionally concealed his identity. Although she was curious, she also understood that she couldn't casually investigate a big shot of that level. Lin Junjun closed the file and called her assistant over. Her assistant, Xiao Xing, looked very quiet, but she was decisive. After entering the office, she immediately asked politely, President Lin, what are your orders? Go and inform the surveillance department to keep a close eye on him. Once Mr. Yi appears, inform me immediately. As she spoke, Lin Junjun passed over a printed photo of Yi Feng. All right, President Lin. Xiao Xing nodded. Also, order two more expensive bonsai. When Mr. Yi checks in, send them over as soon as possible. Yes. Xiao Xing nodded again, but her eyes were a little puzzled. She looked at Lin Junjun and hesitated. Lin Junjun raised an eyebrow upon seeing this. Just ask me what you want to ask. This Mr. Yi is. Xiao Xing couldn't understand why Lin Junjun would try to please this young man with her status. Lin Junjun raised her eyebrows. Zhongtian Lake View Villa No. 1 has been sold. In full. Little Xing's expression changed when she heard that. The villa was actually sold. The Zhongtian Lake View Villa area was famous in the entire Zhonghai city. The people who could live here were either rich or noble. Even the lowest dot end villa worth 20 million yuan was out of reach for most people. And now, the king of villas, Villa No. 1, had been sold in full. Obviously, Yi Feng was the owner of Villa No. 1. Xiao Xing finally understood why Lin Junjun wanted to please Yi Feng. If she were in her shoes, she would also rush to curry favor with him. There were a total of 100 villas in Zhongtian Lake. The grade of the villas was arranged according to the number 1 to 100. The lower the grade of the villa, the lower the number. In Villa 97. Jiang Gaoming, a local snake with a little fame in Zhonghai City, quickly ordered his men to pay attention to the movements of Villa Number 1 after receiving a phone call. The phone call just now was from an old friend in the real estate department. The other party told him that Zhongtian Lake, View Villa No. 1 had been sold. Hearing this, Jiang Gaoming's mind became active. People like him made a fortune by taking projects from the big bosses and then reselling them. Although it was still okay in the outside world, in the Zhongtian Lake, View Villa area, it was at the bottom. Now that Villa No. 1 had an owner. 
the owner must be super rich. To him, he was a potential gold mine and an existence that he could not afford to offend. I have to take advantage of the time when they move in to find an opportunity to meet them and form a good relationship. Thinking of this, Jiang Gaoming decisively called his secretary and said, go pack up one or two red robes in my safe and send them over immediately. After finishing everything, Jiang Gaoming was ready to go upstairs. Suddenly, he saw his second son, Jiang Hao, playing games on the sofa, and his face suddenly turned cold. Why didn't you go to class today? Chapter 6 Is there any point in lying to me? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Dad, it's the weekend today. Jiang Hao said weakly. You can play on the weekend. Can't you learn from your brother and put more effort into your studies? Jiang Gaoming continued to reprimand. They were both his children, but why was the second son, Jiang Hao, so much worse than the eldest, Jiang Yu? Seeing his second son's good.4. Nothing appearance, Jiang Gaoming didn't bother to care anymore. He only told him not to cause trouble, especially not to provoke the owner of Villa No. 1, and then went out. At the same time, at the entrance of the Zhongtian Lake, View Villa, Yi Feng, who was sweating profusely, looked at the majestic entrance and sighed. At this moment, a security guard walked over. Hello, sir. How may I help you? Yi Feng nodded. Zhongtian Lake View Villa was the most high-end villa area in Zhonghai City, and the quality of the security personnel was not bad. Yi Feng had a good impression of him, he immediately took out the property rights. Dot, I'm the owner of Villa No. 1. I'm here to look at the house. The security guard was full of respect. After making sure that the property ownership certificate was real, he quickly returned it to Yi Feng with both hands. Mr. Yi, do you need me to arrange a car to send you there? No need. Yi Feng waved his hand. It was his first time visiting the most high end villa district in Zhonghai City, so he was ready to take a good look. After asking for directions, Yi Feng walked into the villa area under the respectful gaze of the security guards. As expected of the most high end villa district in the city, the environment and facilities here were all first dot class. Not bad. Yi Feng nodded in satisfaction. Suddenly, an uncertain voice was heard. Yi Feng. Yi Feng's footsteps stopped. He looked toward the source of the voice. On the left side of the path, there was a young man standing. After seeing the young man's appearance, Yi Feng frowned. He did not expect to meet Jiang Hao here. Jiang Hao was his high school classmate, but because of his previous misdeeds, Yi Feng had never been on the same side as him. Therefore, when he saw Jiang Hao, he didn't feel the joy of meeting a classmate at all. Jiang Hao was also puzzled. Why was Yi Feng here? Having been classmates with Yi Feng for three years, he naturally knew that Yi Feng's family background was very ordinary. Logically speaking, Yi Feng should not have appeared here. Earlier, he only tried to call out when he saw the figure of Yi Feng, he did not expect it to be true. Yi Feng, it's really you. What are you doing here? Jiang Hao looked a little suspicious. I'm here to look at houses. Yi Feng replied indifferently. House viewing. Don't tell me you're thinking of buying a house here. Jiang Hao was shocked. Yi Feng shook his head. No, I have already bought it. Hearing this, Jiang Hao's eyes widened even more. Yi Feng actually bought the house here. No. That was impossible. Seeing that Yi Feng's entire outfit did not cost more than 500 yuan, the surprise on Jiang Hao's face turned into disdain. Yi Feng, we're all old classmates. Do you think I don't know about your family's situation? Is there any meaning in lying to me? He remembered that Yi Feng's parents were ordinary office workers. Even if they didn't eat or drink, they wouldn't be able to afford the villa here. Thus, he did not believe a single word that Yi Feng said. Yi Feng was too lazy to explain. 
when they didn't get along, half a sentence was more than enough. Since they couldn't continue the conversation, he couldn't be bothered with Jiang Hao and walked away. However, Jiang Hao came up to him. Yi Feng, do you have some misunderstanding about the price of the villas here? Do you see that villa? It's my family's. Even in the Zhongtian Lake View Villa District, this is considered the lowest level of existence, but it still costs 21 million. Yi Feng only nodded his head lightly. Didn't you hear what I said? Jiang Hao was no longer calm. It's 20 million, not 2,000. Yi Feng felt that it was quite interesting to see a monkey putting on a show in front of him. He didn't interrupt Jiang Hao and continued walking. Chapter 7 Old classmate dumbfounded you are listening at novel full dot audio. Jiang Hao didn't notice and continued, Yi Feng, since we're old classmates, I'll remind you not to touch anything here. Otherwise, you won't be able to afford it even if you sell yourself. Do you see that garden? It was designed by an international landscaper and costs 30 million, dot dot. Unknowingly, Yi Feng had already arrived in front of villa number one. It was a three-dot-story European-dot-style villa. Through the iron fence, he could see the large courtyard in front of the villa. The lawn in the courtyard was well-dot-mowed, and there was a small path leading to the gate. On both sides of the path were some flowers, which were blooming in various colors. Jiang Hao's eyes lit up when he saw villa number one. Yi Feng, this is villa number one. It's the king of all the mansions in this area. Do you know how much this mansion is worth? Sai. What are you doing? I have to remind you that you can't touch this villa. Jiang Hao was showing off when he saw Yi Feng walking toward the gate of villa number one. He quickly stepped forward to stop him. Before he could finish, Yi Feng pressed the fingerprint lock. The door slid open silently. Jiang Hao's voice stopped abruptly. He stared at Yi Feng as if he had seen a ghost. Yi Feng could actually open the door of Villa Number One. How was this possible? Yi Feng turned around and looked at Jiang Hao with a faint smile. Is there anything else? Yi Feng, is this villa really yours? Jiang Hao swallowed his saliva, his voice trembling. Yi Feng sneered. Then, is it yours? I. Jiang Hao's face turned red. He thought of how he was showing off in front of Yi Feng just now, and in the end. His face hurt. Compared to Villa No. 1, his mansion No. 97 was nothing. But with Yi Feng's family background, how could he afford Villa No. 1? Just as Jiang Hao's mind was in a mess, suddenly, a girl wearing black. Rimmed glasses, who looked very quiet, walked over. Beside the girl, there were a few people from the real estate department. They were carrying two pots of Nangua Qing Feng. Jiang Hao recognized this girl. She was Lin Junjun's assistant and the manager of the real estate department. Her surname was Xing. What was she doing here? Just as he was feeling puzzled, Xiao Xing had already walked past him and arrived in front of Yi Feng. Hello, Mr. Yi. I'm the manager of the real estate department. You can call me Xiao Xing. Xiao Xing introduced herself to Yi Feng with a smile. Yi Feng nodded. Hello, Manager Xing. What's the matter? Mr. Yi, first of all, thank you for choosing our Zhongtian Lake, View Villa area and this villa. To thank Mr. Yi for your recognition, our real estate department has prepared a small gift for you. These two pots of 1.2 million yuan Nangua Qing Feng are specially customized for you. We wish you all the best in your future. Thank you. Yi Feng smiled and accepted the gift. Jiang Hao was stunned. Yi Feng was actually the owner of Zhongtian Lake, View Villa No. 1. But. How did Yi Feng do it? A normal villa could be bought with money, but this was Villa No. 1, and one had to have a certain status to be able to buy it. Otherwise, Manager Xing and the others wouldn't have sent him a potted plant worth millions just to thank him for moving in. Jiang Hao was confused. 
However, at this moment, another middle-aged man who seemed to be taking a stroll seemed to be attracted by the scene and walked over. Yi Feng glanced at him but did not care. Unexpectedly, when the middle-aged man came over, he actually took the initiative to greet him with a smile. Hello. Hello, who are you? I'm Jiang Gaoming, living in Villa 97. I just happened to see you living there, so I came to visit and make friends. Hearing this, Yi Feng subconsciously looked at Jiang Hao who was not far away. Villa 97, surnamed Jiang, wasn't that Jiang Hao's father. Jiang Gaoming had also seen his son, and seeing Yi Feng looking over, he immediately asked, Mr. Yi, you know my good.4. Nothing son. Yi Feng nodded. Not only do we know each other, we were high school classmates. That's great. Jiang Gaoming's smile became even more brilliant when he heard about the relationship. But then, his smile froze. It seemed that there was something wrong with Yi Feng's tone. Chapter 8 A Thousand Dot Square Meter Villa Lin Junjun you are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Jiang Gaoming's face immediately darkened. He gritted his teeth and said to Jiang Hao, get over here. Jiang Hao shrunk his neck in fear. He really did not expect Yi Feng to be the existence that his father had warned him not to provoke. If his father knew what he had done just now, he was afraid. Jiang Hao's face turned pale. But he didn't dare to disobey Jiang Gaoming's words, so he could only slowly move toward Jiang Gaoming. Seeing this, Jiang Gaoming's face turned even darker. Speak. He stared at Jiang Hao coldly. Jiang Hao's face was filled with fear as he quickly recounted what had happened. Hearing this, Jiang Gaoming's eyes turned black and he almost fainted from anger. What the f asterisk ck? This unfilial son really couldn't do anything right. He was just a troublemaker. He had finally found someone to rely on, but before he could hug him, he had already offended him. Pa. In a fit of anger, Jiang Gaoming raised his hand and slapped Jiang Hao's face. I'll slowly deal with you later. Saying so, he turned around and looked at Yi Feng, his face was filled with a fawning smile. Mr. Yi, it's all my fault for not teaching my son well. I let this little be asterisk start offend you. Please allow me to apologize to you. As he spoke, Jiang Gaoming handed over a gift box. This was originally the red packet that he had prepared for Yi Feng, but after Jiang Hao's interference, he could only use it to apologize. Yi Feng did not reject it. He accepted the gift. Mr. Jiang, you really should discipline your child. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for your reminder, Mr. Yi. Jiang Gaoming quickly nodded. At the same time, he heaved a sigh of relief. Since Yi Feng accepted the gift, it meant that he had accepted his apology. However, the idea of forming a good relationship with him would probably go to waste. Thinking of this, Jiang Gaoming raised his hand and slapped Jiang Hao's head. What are you still standing there for? Hurry up and apologize to Mr. Yi. Jiang Hao quickly apologized. Yi Feng. No, Mr. Yi, I'm sorry, I was wrong. I failed to recognize you. Yi Feng was an existence that even his father could not afford to offend. He did not dare to have any other thoughts. He only hoped that Lord Yi Feng would be magnanimous and let him off. Yi Feng saw that the Jiang family's father and son were rather sincere, so he nodded and said, Good child, you know your mistakes and changed. Jiang Hao was speechless. Mr. Jiang, I still have things to do today so I won't be entertaining you. Yi Feng did not want to continue being entangled with the Jiang father and son. Although Jiang Gaoming wanted to get closer to Yi Feng, he was too embarrassed to stay any longer since he had already asked him to leave. It's fine, it's fine. You can go and do your work. This is my number. If there's anything you need my help with, just let me know. All right. Then we won't disturb you any further. After saying that, Jiang Gaoming pulled Jiang Hao's ear and left. 
you only know how to stir up trouble all day. This time, you should stay at home and reflect on yourself for a few days. If you dare to run around, I'll break your legs. Yi Feng shook his head. He turned around and walked toward the villa. Half an hour later, Yi Feng had finished touring the entire villa. Now, he finally understood what poverty meant by limiting one's imagination. The villa covered an area of nearly 3,000 square meters. As soon as he entered, he saw the large living room. On the left side of the living room were the kitchen and dining room, and on the right was the nanny's room and storage room. The second floor had a master bedroom, three secondary bedrooms, and a study. The gym and entertainment room were on the third floor. The fitness equipment in the gym was very complete. The entertainment room was made up of a family theater, a pool table, and a karaoke table. The villa was fully equipped with daily necessities, each of which was worth a lot. Yi Feng estimated that just the furniture and decorations alone were worth millions, not including the renovation. At the back of the villa, there was an enclosed swimming pool that was more than a hundred square meters. There was not only a bathroom but also a sauna. The dome above the pool could be opened. When the weather was good, he could even sunbathe. In short, after Yi Feng finished touring the villa, he could only describe the feeling of luxury. The only bad thing was that the garage was empty. It would be perfect if he had a sports car. Yi Feng could not help but think. Immediately, he was ready to go to the 4S store to buy a car, and then go to the rental house to transfer the 8 million in cash. As soon as he walked out of the villa's gate, he saw a beautiful woman with special Duong 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 special effects walking with a group of black dot clothed bodyguards in a hurry, as if they were searching for something. Noticing Yi Feng's gaze, the beautiful mature lady turned her head and looked over. After seeing Yi Feng's appearance clearly, a smile appeared on her face. Mr. Yi, how are you? Yi Feng was a little confused, but he still nodded his head. Hello, who are you? I'm Lin Junjun, the owner of Zhongtian Real Estate. It's Boss Lin. Mr. Yi, you're too kind. Compared to you, I'm not a boss. You can just call me Xiao Lin. After getting to know each other, Yi Feng pointed at the security guards and asked, Boss Lin, are you guys looking for something? Chapter 9 Destiny Navigation Activated, A Wedding Ring You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Lin Junjun nodded. Since it was not a secret, she told Yi Feng casually. It turned out that an old man living in Villa No. 3 had lost his wedding ring from decades ago. The old man and his wife were very loving. They had worked hard together for decades, from the most difficult times to today. The ring was a symbol of their shared life and death. Although it was not valuable, it was a priceless treasure to the old man. From black hair to white hair. This kind of love really makes people envious. Lin Junjun felt a little emotional after she finished speaking. Unwavering love was rare even for ordinary people, let alone Shanghai, who had a life full of temptation. Yi Feng did not feel much about this. Now that his curiosity had been satisfied, he didn't plan to stay any longer and bade Lin Junjun farewell. Mr. Yi, this is my phone number. You can contact me at any time if you need anything. Seeing that Yi Feng was about to leave, Lin Junjun quickly passed her business card over. After Yi Feng took it, he walked out of the villa area. Lin Junjun continued to lead the security guards in their search for the wedding ring. A new land of opportunity has been detected. Route planning has been started for the host, host, please follow the current path and walk forward for 100 meters. Then, turn left and walk straight for 300 meters. Finally, walk 500 meters to the right. The whole journey is 900 meters. You will reach your destination in 10 minutes. A new opportunity. Yi Feng was slightly surprised. He immediately started walking forward. Ten minutes later, Yi Feng had arrived at his destination. There was an artificial lake here. The water in the artificial lake was very clear, and carps could be seen swimming in it. 
Around the man that made lake was a large lawn, with some ginkgo trees and low shrubs. The environment was not bad. But. It seemed to have nothing to do with his luck. There was no one or anything here, so what was his opportunity? Yi Feng had a headache. Suddenly, there was a flash of light in the grass. Eh. Yi Feng was stunned. He squatted down and looked at it carefully. A moment later, a platinum ring appeared on his hand. The ring was a little old, looking like a style from the 70s and 80s. However, the ring was well dot preserved, and there was not a single scratch on it, as if it was newly bought. Could this be his lucky chance? It didn't look like anything special. Even if it was old, it wasn't worth much. Wait a minute. A wedding ring. Suddenly, Lin Junjun's words rang in Yi Feng's mind. Could this ring be the wedding ring that the old man had lost? Yi Feng did not think that this was a coincidence. The reason the system didn't give him any hints this time was probably because Lin Junjun had already told him about it. As such, it was very likely that the ring belonged to that old man. Hence, he took out his phone and called Lin Junjun. When Lin Junjun heard that Yi Feng had found a ring that most likely belonged to the owner of Villa No. 3, she was extremely excited. She did not tell Yi Feng that the old man in Villa No. 3 was not an ordinary person. Tan Wuhong, Elder Tan, was a real giant in the business world of Zhonghai City. Not only was he highly respected, but he also had a wide network of connections all over the country. Even the provincial governor had to show respect to him, let alone the prefect of Zhonghai. It was a big deal to find his token. At the thought of this, Lin Junjun immediately said, Mr. Yi, please wait for me. I'll be right there. All right. After agreeing, Yi Feng sat on the bench and waited for Lin Junjun. On the other side, Lin Junjun also hurriedly called Elder Tan. In Villa No. 3. When Tan Wuhong heard the news of the ring, he lost his usual calm and gentlemanly demeanor. He was so excited that he stood up from the sofa. President Lin, thank you so much. For the past two days, he had been so anxious that he couldn't even eat because of the ring's disappearance. There was finally some news. He immediately went to look for Lin Junjun. After he found out from Lin Junjun that she wasn't the one who found the ring, but someone else who found it at the artificial lake, Tan Wuhong immediately rushed over to the lake. Five to six minutes later, Lin Junjun saw Yi Feng and was about to greet him when the words that were on the tip of her tongue came to an abrupt end. That was because she saw a scene that seemed like a fantasy story. The white dot haired elder Tan was actually wearing slippers and running all the way here. When Lin Junjun saw the nervous yet expectant look on elder Tan's face as he scanned the crowd by the lake, she instantly understood what was going on. She subconsciously looked at Yi Feng again her expression was filled with envy. It was because, from Elder Tan's actions, she could completely conclude that this ring's weight in Elder Tan's heart was much heavier than she had imagined. Just this ring alone was enough for Elder Tan to owe Yi Feng a huge favor. Chapter 10 D asterisk a minute, I also want this kind of treatment you are listening at novel full dot audio. Many passers.by who noticed the commotion here were also quite surprised. They naturally knew Elder Tan. They had heard of Elder Tan's style. However, Elder Tan had actually lost his composure this time. What was going on? Was there anything special about that young man? Everyone's gazes were focused on Yi Feng. Next to the man that made lake, Lin Junjun immediately began her introduction after coming to her senses. Elder Tan, this is Mr. Yi Feng, the one who picked up the ring. Mr. Yi, this is Tan Buhong, Elder Tan. Hearing this, Yi Feng finally understood why he felt that this old man looked so familiar. Tan Buhong. How could he not be familiar? Among the young people in Dragon Kingdom, there were few who had not heard of Tan Buhong. Tan Buhong, the chairman of Chienda Plaza, was a giant in the retail and supermarket industry in the entire South China region. He was also the boss of Zhonghai City's High.N shopping mall, 
world city. His history of making a fortune could be said to be legendary. He didn't expect that the person who lost the ring was actually him. When Tan Bohong found out that Yi Fong was the owner of Villa No. 1, he was also a little surprised. However, he was here today for the ring, so he didn't bother to find out more. Mr. Xiao Yi, can you show me the ring? Normally, he wouldn't be so impolite, but this time, the ring was too important to him. By the time he reacted and wanted to apologize, Yi Fong had already passed the ring to him. Seeing that Yi Fong did not seem to be angry, Tan Bohom was relieved. He immediately checked the ring. After a while, Tan Bohom looked at Yi Fong with excitement. It's this, it's this. This is the wedding ring that I lost. Mr. Xiao Yi, thank you. Tan Bohong carefully put away the ring and then took the initiative to extend his hands. After shaking Yi Feng's hand, he said seriously, This ring has an extraordinary meaning to me. Thank you. After thanking him again, Elder Tan seemed to have thought of something and took out a check from his arms. There was nothing written on the check. In other words, Yi Feng could fill in the amount himself. Mr. Xiao Yi, this is a small gift. But Yi Feng shook his head and refused. Lin Junjun was also stunned by this sight. He actually rejected a check that he could fill in any amount he wanted. Tan Bohong was stunned when Yi Feng rejected him, but he soon realized that he had been too rude. Yi Feng could even buy Villa No. 1. Would he be short of money? Thus, Tan Bohong kept the check and took out a black gold card and a simple business card. He passed it to Yi Feng solemnly. You've helped me so much. You must accept this. If you need anything in the future, just call me. Thank you. Yi Feng smiled. Elder Tan, you are too polite. This is what I should do. As Elder Tan spoke, after giving the things to Yi Feng, he took out his phone and walked to the side to call his wife, telling her not to worry. Seeing this, Yi Feng did not waste any more time. He bid farewell to Elder Tan and left. At the lakeside, Lin Junjun and the others were staring at his back with eyes that were about to turn red from envy. A limited edition black gold card from World City, plus Elder Tan's personal name card. In the entire World City, there were only 10 black gold cards. With a black gold card, in addition to being able to buy things at a discount, one could also enjoy the most distinguished treatment in World City. Dot and now, in the entire Zhonghai city, there were only two people who had this card. Yi Feng was the third one. As for Elder Tan's personal business card, there was no need to even mention it. Tan Bohong usually wouldn't give such a business card to others easily. Now that he gave it to Yi Feng, it showed that he approved of Yi Feng. Even if Yi Feng was just an ordinary person, these two things alone were enough to make him famous in Zhonghai City. Many people couldn't help but sigh. I can't live anymore. Those who are more outstanding than me are luckier than me. Don't be fooled by my appearance of envy. In fact, I'm really envious.